Hello. Today we're going to do 4.4, convert linear equations from standard 4, day 4. Today is Tuesday, May 19th. I hope everyone had a good uh, holiday Monday. What is standard form? Standard form is the name of an equation that has one side equal to zero. The coefficient of x, so the number in front of x, is always positive, never a decimal and never a fraction. For example, 3x plus 6y plus 4 equals zero. What is slope y-intercept form? Slope y-intercept form is the name of an equation that can be written as y equals mx plus b. Remember the one that's positive is in front of the y. Using the guess method, rewrite each equation in slope y-intercept form. Then state the slope and y-intercept. What's been given? 6x minus 2y plus 4 equals 0. U, what is the unknown? It says to rewrite each equation in slope y-intercept form, then state the slope and y-intercept. So what's unknown? Write the equation in slope y-intercept form, then state slope which we know is m, okay, and y-intercept, which we know is b, okay? So the equation, well, we need to use the slope, slope y-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. We know that if we want the y on its own side, so we need SAMDEB and opposite operations. So if this seems like what we've done before, we have. Okay, S, the solution. So we're taking the equation, the unknown, and the given into this solution space. So we're going to rewrite the equation 6x minus 2y plus 4 equals 0. I'm going to move this equation a little bit further to the left. We need SAMDEB. Alright, so to the left y is already there. So that means y on left side. Put it in a bubble. Okay, so that means no y on right side. Okay, and remember if you miss something then you can replay this. 6x is not following this rule. We understand that the 6x needs to move. But remember, when I write 6x, I don't say negative, because it's not negative, it's positive. So the opposite of adding, next to the a for add, adding 6x, the opposite of adding is subtracting 6x. I subtract 6x once on the left side and once on the right side. Notice I put it next to the other 6x because with the x's they can cancel each other out. Okay, that makes them like terms. The y and the 4 on its own, they are not like the 6x because only the positive 6x shares an x with the negative 6x, which has an x. Okay, they cancel each other out. Positive 6 minus 6. If you don't know, 
could type it into your calculator, okay? They cancel each other out. So you're left with negative 2y plus 4 equals 0 minus 6x. I have nothing there, but I have a minus minus 6x, okay? I do the same thing now in the next line. Negative 2y follows the rule y on left side, but the plus 4 does not. So, I have to do the opposite of adding 4. So next to the a for add, if I'm adding 4 in the question, I have to do the opposite, which is subtract 4. I subtract 4 once on the left side of the equal sign, once on the right side of the equal sign. The y's do not have anything that makes it like the negative 4. Negative 4 has no y, no variable, so it could only cancel out the plus 4. So 4 minus 4, if you don't know, 4 minus 4 is 0. Cancels itself out, okay? So you have negative 2y equals negative 6x minus 4. These do not combine. This is negative 6 x-rays. Take away 4. There's no x with the 4, so you cannot con compare them as like terms because they're not. Okay? Now, on the left side, we have made the rule that only y is on the left side, but notice that this has a negative in front. So the opposite of the negative 2y, we understand that to be multiplication. So the opposite of multiplying, opposite of multiplying, next to the m is opposite of multiplying, negative 2 is dividing by negative 2. So you divide by negative 2 once on the left and once on the right. Negative 2 divided by two, negative 2, 2 that's negative divided by 2 that's negative is equal to 1. If you hate to hate, you're loving. Okay, so it's positive. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Y equals negative 2 divides both the negative 6x and the negative 4. Okay, I can write uh, positive, positive um, 1y or just y equals, and then negative divided by negative, I hate to hate, I'm loving. 6 divided by 2 is 3, but if I don't know, I type in a 6 that's negative, and I divide it by a 2 that's negative. I give myself 3. 3x, and the negative divided by negative is positive 2, but if I don't know, 4 that's negative divided by a 2 that's negative is equal to a positive 2. Positive 2. I'm not going to have enough room here, so I don't know what I'm going to do about this space. Okay, so y equals... mx plus b. So I have <clears throat> m there, the b there. So that means that m is 3. Well, we know that m is the same as slope. We know that b is 2. So m is 3, b is 2. and we know that that's the y-intercept, okay? So then the s for the salute, uh, the sentence, okay? So we can say that y equals 3x plus 2, therefore y equals 3x plus 2 is the slope y-intercept form where slope is 3 because we know that m is slope and b which is the y-intercept is 2 where slope is 3 because we know it's equal to m and the y-intercept is 2 okay All right, B. 
15x plus 5y plus 10 equals 0. So let's start with g u e s s given. 15x plus 5y plus 10 equals 0. u, what's the unknown? He says to rewrite each equation in slope y-intercept form. So write each, sorry, the, because now we're, we've got something specific. Write the equation in slope y-intercept form. Then state the slope, which we know is equal to m, okay, and the y-intercept, okay, which we know is equal to b, okay. So we need to use the slope y-intercept. So we need to use y equals mx plus b, okay. So we need, okay, because right now uh, this equation is not in y equals mx plus b form. We need the y on its own side. So to get the y equals mx plus b, we need SAMDEB and opposite operations. So t sometimes I spell out the word opposite and sometimes I just make it the short form, okay? All right, so take the equation space, the unknown information, and the g which has been given and write it into this space. Okay, so we have 15x plus 5y plus 10 equals 0, and we use SAMDEB, give ourselves a little bit more space than we did earlier. Okay, so to the left, oops, I'm going to make one. Okay. So to the left of the equal sign, that's where the Y is. So we want Y on left side. Okay, so we put the bubble so it stands out. And then that means then there's no y on right side. Okay? All right. 15x is not following the rule that we have in our bubble on the left side. So when we say 15x, we don't say negative 15 because it's not. So we understand it to be a positive. So next to the A for addition, we say they are adding 15x. We're going to do the opposite, which is subtract 15x. So do that once on the left side and once on the right side. 15x minus 15x. I have 15 x-rays, and I take them all away. It gives me a 0. So they cancel each other out. 5y plus 10 equals 0 minus 15 x-rays is negative 15 x-rays. Okay, so I still have to have the y on the left side. So I do exactly the same kind of steps as I did in the line above it. 5y follows the rule that y is on the left side of the equal sign, but 10 Okay, we say positive 10, right? It's not on it's not on the right side, the correct side, because it's not following the rule y on left side. So next to the a, we're adding 10. So the opposite is subtracting 10. So subtract 10 once on the left side and once on the right side. This 10 has no y, so it cannot combine with the 5y. It can, can only combine with the 10. So we have Negative 10, if we want to type that number in because it's at the top, plus 10 should be 0, right? So cancel those out. So we get 5y equals, now with an x, that makes the negative 15x different from the negative 10 who has no x. So these, these are unlike 
we rewrite them. Okay, now if we look back to the left side and we want the y, y on left side, but notice it's just a 1y, right? So the problem is we've got 5y's. So we've got to do the opposite of multiplication of 5, so next to the m, the opposite of multiplying by 5 is the opposite, which is dividing by 5. So we divide by 5, once on the left and once on the right. So 5, if I don't know, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1y one equals negative 15x over 5, negative 10 divided by 5. So 1y, I can just write it as 1 if I want, equals negative 15 divided by 5, negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3, negative 3x, negative 10 divided by 5, 10 which is negative divided by 5 which is negative 2. If you can do all this on your own then that's fantastic. Okay. So we compare it to y equals mx plus b. We can see the m is negative 3 and the b is negative 2. So we say that m is negative 3, but we know that m is the same as slope. So that is a slope of negative 3. We know that the m is negative 3, so the slope is negative 3. We know that the b is negative 2. But we know that b is the y-intercept, so it's negative 2, okay? So then the s is what we have to do next. So the s is the sentence, okay? And that is, therefore, the slope y-intercept form is y equals, here it is here, 3x, sorry, negative 3x, minus 2. The slope is, I can use the word is if I want, or I could write the word equals, like I did over here, right? So the slope is negative 3, and the y-intercept is negative 2. The only reason I didn't use an equals is because it would look weird because the word slope wasn't next to the word e or the symbol equals. So I just used the word is. Okay. Okay. I'll come back and load the next part of the video where we do C.